Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. I got to work, picked up a new rag to clean off my glasses, dropped off the recycled rag, got one package that came in that I don't need. It's a coil for the golf cart, so we can probably return it. And I picked up a box back there from work that you're gonna see later on. If anybody can guess in the comments what it is, do it down below right now. Actually, there's two boxes. There's one there and there's one in the back. Let me know if you think you know, and I'll let you know when I'm ready to let you know. How's that sound? Sounds pretty decent. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell or button too, why wouldn't you? I'm just sitting here waiting for Temperance to bring this thing out. It's probably gonna take 10 hours, Captain. Well, mom's air conditioner's all hooked up and she's happier than pig and crafts. It's one of the floor standers where you just put the tube in the window. It's actually pretty neat the way they work. Leave your comments down below if you have one because yeah, you know, if you have a slider window, you just wedge it in there and put a little bit of sealant on there and Bob's your friggin' uncle. So that was kind of neat. Not too bad. The pipe gets a little warm going out, but still, not too bad. So we're just gonna grab ourselves a chicken Caesar salad here from Wendy's. Head home. All right, so we're back home and hopefully by now you left a comment telling you what you guess this is in this box. I'm gonna pull it out right now and show you. Some of you probably already know what it is, but I'll show you anyway. It comes with this and it comes with this. Can you see it yet? Well, it comes with this. Does that give you a hint? Oh yes, we did. So we got our other low pro poly intake in. Because remember, I sold the other one because I wanted to go with a two piece. So there you go. There's a two piece. So that's the base right there. You know, pretty nice. Friggin' right, nice runners. And then in this box, it's a lid. And of course it comes with screws and gaskets and stuff. So we'll set that aside. And we'll have a gander at it and see how it looks. Oh chick. Look at that, Jim. Oh, decent. There you go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. See, the other one, the snorkel was way down here and it was a three piece. This is a two piece, but I ended up having the room to put a two piece in. So that's why Donnie bought my three piece, which is good for his beamer. Yeah, there it is. Look at the size of the hole. Holy, how you doing? You can stick my whole hand in there, Jim. That's deep. Let's get some screws in this thing and we'll get it together and see how it looks on the engine. That would be a good idea. So I got thinking that I might put the injectors in this thing just to see how they fit. And I don't want to leave you guys out. So I'm just switching over my mount to a little stab and lock here. So I can actually set you up somewhere and you can actually see what's really going on. My mounts are all cocked over right now, Jim. Hang on, we're almost there, Captain. So as you see, I already got the screws in the top. And it's not too bad. A little off though here, Holly. Just a little bit. But that's all right. So if you look down here at my gut, it's nice and big and round. Oh, by the way, I did have a big bacon classic. I, I, I couldn't do the... I tried the salad, but it just... It come out of my mouth wrong. I went to say, can I have a chicken Caesar salad? Instead I had said, can I have a number four biggie sized? I don't know why. It just kind of happened and frig, I feel bad now, but... It is what it is, we can't go back on that. So I picked her up, Jim. I screwed her all up. So we're gonna turn this sideways, kind of, just sideways enough you can see what's going on. And I'm going to grab the injectors that I got, which are 80 pound injectors. So we're putting 80 pounders in this thing, which is good for about 750 horsepower or so. And I did get these used, so hopefully they're still good, but they go in there. Before I do that, I might uh, maybe lube them up with a little something. I know it's probably not good to burn some oil in an injector, but I'm going to do it anyways, just because uh, it makes me feel better. Just a dab. Not a lot, just a little, just enough to spread around so it wants to go in. Oh, see? So much easier when you do that. There's one. Now I'm wondering if I can run these like this. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you can, because I think I'd rather run them like that, to be honest with you. This one's actually, that one feels good. I think I can. Now I could be putting these in upside down. No, I'm not putting them in. They're good, that's good. I've never done this before, so just leave me alone. Don't see, I need oil on that. Too grabby. Oh yeah, you put a little bit of oil and they slide right in, Jim. Very right they do. So there's four in. Now we get the rails out. A nice looking Holly fuel rail. Oh yeah, look at that, Captain. Isn't that fancy? And fortunately, that's the right one. So now we just gotta determine what brackets we need. I'm gonna say probably the bigger ones. Yep, I have to say the bigger ones, boys. So put the big ones on there. Actually, you know what? We probably need to put that on first, don't we? I'm saying yes, and you say no. And I'll say goodbye. 
Hello, goodbye. I don't know why I say hello, but I say goodbye. So we'll zig that into here, just like that. And we'll zig this one into here, just like that. And now we'll lube each injector hole with just a little bit. And I'll just rub it around with my finger. There we go, stick your pinky in there, give it a little rub around, and then we'll slide her on, which goes this way. Why would the holly face in? Oh well, whatever, it is what it is. So when you're doing this, just make you have your injectors lined up to the holes. Now I wouldn't know this because I've never done it before, but I'm just kind of one of those guys that kind of figure that stuff out on my own. And actually they feel really good, and I think I will run the wire on the top, and not the outside, because that way I go plug, 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 instead of plug, 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 plug. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Should I run them this way? I guess I can run them whatever way I want. Let's turn them down for now, because it just looks cool. So now I'll put the bolts in the side. 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter Peter eater. One, where's my doodad? Actually, I don't want to use my doodad on this. All right, there we go, there's another one. So now we can flip her around and do the other friggin' side. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a friggin' chub right now. Anybody else get a chub? Leave a comment down below, why wouldn't you? I know what you're saying. You can't put the fuel rails in until you put the manifold on, but I'm not putting the manifold on. I'm just setting her on the engine because it's gonna come off to put it in the van. So all this stuff's coming back off. I'm doing this for you. A little bit of oil. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on my finger this time. A little rub tech. Now I know some of you LS guys are watching me and say, dude, you put the injectors in the friggin' rails first, then you put them in. Okay, I'm far from a professional. So thanks for the heads up. Next time, that's what we'll do her. This time, she's going in like this. I bet some of you didn't even know I had the 80 pound injectors already, did you? See, people are asking what's going on with the LS. Boys, she's coming, slowly. Can't rush these things, Jim. There we go, so we'll shove this on, and then we'll line the injectors up. It doesn't really matter how you do this. It's pretty friggin' straightforward. A child could do it. The bolt in, I'm gonna put this bolt in too this time. So there we go, there's that side on. And that was pretty easy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over the engine here and I'm just gonna put the studs in. We're not gonna actually, you know, put the bolts on, but we're just gonna put the studs in so it lines right up where it needs to be. And then we can maybe throw the throttle body on and check. Okay, now that the uh, studs are in the friggin' engine rooski there and the rails are on, we might as well throw on the throttle body, see how it looks too, right? Because nothing screams horsepower like a 102 friggin' intake sniper EFI throttle body hole system thing. You got that right. So we'll slap it on and we'll have a gander. It's friggin' muggy and hot out today. It's actually kind of gross, really, to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah, we did. Frig. You see, this is gonna be a pain in the big balls. Unoral balls holes. Every sensor on this throttle body, I've got new too. So, and when I get this done, I'm getting to lock tight every one of these. I know some of you are probably saying you don't have to, but I'm gonna, if you're gonna write, I'm gonna. There we go, just kind of snugged up for now. Oh, we gotta bring her over the edge. Gotta give her a bench edge. Yeah. Careful. Trying around my intake like that. That's fight words. Holy. Oh, there you go, I got the throttle body on. And check out that. Friggin' decent! Let's get on the engine! There it is. Check out that. Holy captain. You know what we have to do now is paint the block flat black. Frig. That's nice. Oh, dick. Well, there you go, boys. Girls, people. One more thing on the LS. And it looks pretty good. It's what they call a low ram, which would be perfect for the van. I get enough room for it. And that will come out and scream, How you doing? Friggin' right it will. Well, hope you enjoyed this video and what I did today. That's about all I did today. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification. So, love y'all. And you know what to do for now.